<laughs> he's just those thick lenses that he's been taking to every event. It's it's just his look. Oh yeah. Goblin, of course, has begun to experiment not only with Roy, but through some of the locals that he's gone to across the country, particularly in the Midwest, he's been starting to use Krom a little bit, too. It, it's sort of two sides to the same coin, those characters, but there are enough differences where you do need to change that in a tournament setting if you're going to want that type of practice. Yeah, I feel like at the level that, at being a top player, most of them are talented enough to where it, they're usually playing two or three... Uh, I mean, they can usually play two, three, maybe even four characters very competently. So for them to pick up a character that's almost identical in many ways is not that hard. I think you see that a lot with most most players who main Marth, also main Lucina in Smash 4. In this game, we see that with Ken and Ryu. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Ken, uh, sorry, uh, Roy and Krom uh, I believe there's merit to switching characters based on matchups, and uh, Goblin obviously seeing merit in that as well. So, which will he go? Who do you think? I'd imagine. Roy or I'd imagine we're seeing the Roy. I know I saw him playing Roy off stream earlier, but he could go for the Krom, especially against what I'd imagine is going to be the Pichu from Neotono. But we did see him select the Krom, so he might be going for it. Miyatono also has a Wario in the back. Wario, of course, a character that we saw make waves over the weekend with Tweak and Bluto and just so many players just showcasing the full extent of what that character can do. Hey, Brock, how does it feel to be wrong? I said Pichu. But he went Krom. Yeah, oh, uh, well. <laughs> okay. I was just messing with you, buddy. All right. All right, Krom, Pichu. It's, this is one of those matchups, and I love them. It's a volatile matchup. Pichu dies pretty early to Krom. You know, Krom having very strong and big hitboxes. But uh, Krom really struggles when he has to recover, when he has to use that up B. Yeah, Krom, of course, that's just the way with every top-tier matchup that pretty much every top-tier matchup, you kill them particularly early, but they can edge guard you at a moment's notice. Okay, and that missing that edge guard there is really painful, especially when you're Pichu. Just not only did uh, Niatono take extra, uh, extra damage there, but he gave up the position there, and it cost him the stock. And not only is that F-Tilt so powerful, it killed Pichu at center stage 107 after the hit. Oh, he was right in the in the spot he needed to, to land that spike, but just didn't pull the trigger. It's, it's difficult too, though, because although Krom's recovery is very exploitable, the punishment for missing it can be you can even lo you can lose a stock, as we saw. Uh, I believe there's a clip with YMCA getting killed by the uh, YMCA. Okay, of course, our uh, local DK main, but he's getting uh, he, get he misspaces his F smash and just gets dragged off stage. There uh, we go. Finally able to get the thunder, and that time the that's the difference between Pichu's thunder and Pikachu's thunder, just the way they face. But that F tilt for the second time is going to kill Niatono. Yeah, if you're playing Pichu in this matchup, you need to play perfectly because Krom uh, has such big hitboxes that you need to do a good job of spacing around. You know, you you deal damage to yourself if you're if you're just spamming moves. Um, Krom has the speed to contest you, um, and as we saw, like Niatono's missed some of those edge guards here, and that's cost him big time. Gets I around mean, it well. This game would be tied. Maybe he'd even have a lead if he had he gotten them. Excellent spot dodge to avoid the grab and leaves him on top of the platform into the grab as well. Caught the air dodge too. Nice. Intercepting that. Oh, oh no. he, but he messed up the recovery. 
recovery. Only got one hit of the agility there, or one just outpour, and he's gonna SD I at 43%. I thought I saw the second thing of the agility. He Was just, it just somehow into the got stage? caught on the stage. It looked, that's what it looked like to me. Wow. And he did so well to just go for the down air after, you know, Goblin, that upbeat left him so vulnerable. Neotono smelled blood and just didn't account for his own positioning. Yeah. All right. I, ex I think, uh, I expect Nito to do much better than this game, though. Uh, I feel like this oh, is yeah. the matchup you warm up to. He's and, already yeah. doing a lot better there. That downer can eviscerate that first dock 12 seconds in and showing no mercy already back into these throw combos. Yeah, he, uh, he's popping off right now. He's getting these combos. I mean... He's, he's gotten a huge lead here, but what yeah. What a that's, roll read. That's what I was going to say is it doesn't take a lot. One of the reasons this matchup is so volatile, I mean, it does not take a lot for Krom to crawl his way back in. Anton gets the down air, but he was on stage. And as you said, if Pichu is going to get roll red once with a down tilt tech chasing, he's going to die at 50%, 60%. Yeah, he earlier killed him than the opposite way off the stage. Uh, I like what Miyatoto was trying to go for. There. Oh! That seemed like he extended the uppy there by hitting it with the electricity and then got him with a spike. Yeah, he actually rebounded off the side of the stage there. Not quite sure if that was untackable, but it sent him at such a weird angle, so we know that Goblin was DIing in on that. All right, these nares coming out. It's like... Nair is good if you can stuff out what Palms wants to do, but if he spaces around it, he'll hit you with that sword. I think, yeah, and you'll just die, because you're Pichu, and you die very early. <laughs> that was really odd. Neotono took damage from that, but he didn't go into hit stun. And yeah, Perry gets you nothing at the ledge there, as Pichu. Actually, really is any character, because Krom just immediately grabs the ledge. But he should be dead here? No! He's able to air dodge to the ledge there safely. And I'm not quite sure if that slide special a moment ago was intentional, because that sacrificed day control and it allowed Goblin to get that, but not for much longer. Neotono, I believe he took all three stocks with down air. Yeah, that's true. The last stock being the sour hitbox. It's such uh, a getting that trade, it's actually. It's a powerful move. It can spike. It can kill you even if it's not spiking with the quote-unquote sour hitbox. That move barely has a sour hitbox. I think if he got the spike, too, that would have killed. Oh, it certainly would have. He'd be rocketing off the bottom of the stage. Mm -hmm. A nice bounce. All right, yeah. Neotono's found his groove now. I hesitate to call this early, but it's... But if you're a Goblin fan, I'm a little nervous right now. Even that game two, not enough for Goblin to go back to the main. Yeah, Goblin is playing this a lot more conservatively. Backing off, trying to catch Neotono's uh, approach with these jabs. But, uh... Neotono seems to be ready for it. Well, quite the sweet spot of Thunder, but Goblin over 100% down. Yeah. It's interesting. Neotono seems to be still going for that parry. He must think he can get something off of that. Maybe I was mistaken in saying that he can't. Uh, I believe Pichu has a frame one jab, just like uh, Pikachu in this game. Um, Frame one or frame two, it's very quick. Yeah, it's extremely quick. Uh, so it is Pichu's fastest option there. But jab back air actually, something Goblin is very used to doing with Roy. Proms will kill a bit later, but not by much. And against a character as light as Pichu, that's going to be an even better option. He's out of a jump. This could be death. It and it is. It is death. That down air from Neotono, so deadly, so potent and such a good job at connecting that so consistently. Oh, uh, the juggles here coming out from Goblin. 
because Nino Tatona's having such a hard time landing. Finally gets back to center stage though here. Can he answer in kind? No, Goblin's gonna get that F tilt. Out of shield aerial, but Goblin with a neutral B just not opting to drop off stage at all. And with a character such as Pichu, whose aerials off stage have a tendency to trade, I'm sure you really don't want to do that. Take no risks. Uh, you can tech that? You can indeed. You can tech pretty much any spike in this game until the untechable frame. Alrighty. Okay, guess the jab lock. Uh-oh. It's not early enough to get the kill there. That uh, that thunder would have killed, though. That move's crazy strong. Yeah, Kram's down to a little bigger, gonna win out there. Uh, but just because Neotono misspaced it slightly. Although not time to down tilt on the shield. And again, parries that at ledge, but yeah. It seems like Neotono's been practicing that. He has not missed that at all. I think that's actually what scared Goblin into air dodging back instead of going for the up special recovery because he's been getting that parry every time. Yeah, are we gonna see it? that lead to something here as, as this match winds down to a close right here. Okay, gets the air dodge. Yeah, Pichu, of course, without a bonafide kill throw until about 190 or so, but that time yeah, you don't need a kill throw there. when yeah. you have down airs like those. Niatono emerges victorious over Goblin in three games.